now we'll do, we have a very fine selection of reds. Um, so, wow, they put a smell in Grand Cru. Wow. <laughs> so actually we will only taste Premier Cru and Grand Cru, is that okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we to complain? <laughs> um, so now I will take you to Nuit Saint-Georges. Remember Côte de Nuit. So it's the town, it's actually a bigger town, which is on Côte de Nuit right down here. Okay. So this is where we're trying wine. You can see there is no red, so there's no Grand Cru down there uh -huh. anymore. But we're having a Premier Cru. So it's called, they wrote it in very okay. small, Premier Cru Rue de Chaux. Mm -hmm. Rue de Chaux is the name of the plot of the climat. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it was apparently in the past a street. Rue, oh. Rue means street. Yeah. And Chaux means a chalky. So the soil must be a little bit, do you say chalky? Chalky, yeah. Chalky. Like chalk when yeah. you, when you oh, write I on see. a paper board, see, chalk. Yeah. Powdery. Yes, yeah, a nice. little bit powdery. Mm -hmm. It's a 2018, once again, very great vintage, very good. Mm. And this is the uh, winemaker. It's Henri et Gilles Remoriquet. So maybe they are brothers. I think they are brothers because otherwise they would write father and son. Oh. So they must be brothers. Henri and Gilles Remoriquet. That's the domain, right? Yeah, that's the domain. And it's a 2018 Premier Cru Rue de Chaux. This hmm? is a lighter red, right? Um, I don't, no, no. Is I don't this, is think it's normal, all right. It's the normal color, um, or is it just the lighting? <laughs> it's the light, but for Pinot Noir, it's a pretty dark ruby mm, red. Ruby red. Yes, okay. it's, and it's pretty dark. It's typical of that vintage. Twenty. If you have a 2017, mm -hmm. uh, you will see 2017 will be much lighter okay. because the weather was different, mm -hmm. and so. Um, there's not so much color on the skin. Wow. 2017 will be lighter. 2018 is quite strong. Mm -hmm. Look at your glass while well, you are under the light, but it's really a dark red, yeah. dark ruby red. Yeah. Very concentrated. You, you should find it very fruity, mm -hmm. quite easy to drink, very pleasant mm -hmm. and generous. We all, we call this vintage generous. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the nose. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So we are on small berries, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, small yeah. black berries, black currant. Ah, oh, it's lovely, the nose. But I think the wine is as well. Like cherry flavors yes. on the palate. Yes, yes. Can you feel it? Nice. Mm. It's good. It's very so good. you can feel the time. Yeah, here, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. they take you on. Down here on the, how do you call it? On the? Yeah. Um, the gums. <laughs> gums, on the gums. Yeah, that's it. Mmm, mm, good. Very good. So 2018 is a, is a good vintage to age mm -hmm. because um, you still have tannins. So not too much acidity though, but I think it's already very pleasant to drink it now. Yes. What do you think? Yes. <gasps> Will it be better? I, I can't imagine. Um, the tannins will go down a little bit. Uh -huh. I wouldn't keep it for ages and ages in my wine uh -huh. cellar, but maybe 2018, two or three years, and you will, but you will have less fruit on it. You see? Mm -hmm. You will get more to tertiary flavors, yeah. mm -hmm. which can be underwoods, can be sometimes mushrooms, mm -hmm. um, earthiness, this kind of thing. But so I wouldn't age it too long. Yeah. No, it's already quite nice now. Mm -hmm. This one you will find it much lighter. Okay. 2017, also from a village, Chambol Musigny. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a premier mm -hmm. cru once again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mio Camusé is an amazing winemaker. Mm -hmm. But they did a special selection there. You were on the on the VIP selection. Yeah. But I won't change anything. So it's a very, very uh, great domain. Impossible to get wines from this domain when you, you ring at the bell. Mm -hmm. Um, 2017, a much lighter vintage than 2018, and Chambon Musigny, so this once again is the Clima. Les Feuzelottes. I've never heard of this Clima mm -hmm. before, Les Feuzelottes. Mm -hmm. And Chambon Musigny is uh, known to be a village due to the soil where the wines are quite delicate and feminine. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. So, um, Nuit Saint-Georges now is quite a, is, is a nice, solid Pinot Noir. This should be much lighter, you oh, should wow. say. More nice. delicate, more elegant. So the nose is already very different, I think. You can yes. feel that it's lighter. Yes. We are more on cherries, but red cherries, I think. Not so ripe. But that's the vintage, you see. Mm -hmm. mm. Raspberry mm -hmm. flavors, maybe. Yeah. Red cherries. Oh yeah. Agreed. See the difference? Yeah. But on the other hand, this is Pinot right. Noir we had every year like this um, till 20, 30 years ago mm -hmm. when the weather was still normal. Mm -hmm. You see when we had classical weather, cool spring times, warm summers, not too hot, a little bit of sun but also rain, mm -hmm. cold winters. So this was the typical Pinot Noir we mm -hmm. used to have. Mm -hmm. This one is already wow. um, this one is already a result of the global heating up. Yeah. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See the difference between yes. the two? Yes. It's amazing. Yes. So sorry for my references again, but this would be a wine you could also have with fish. Yeah. Since mm -hmm. it's a very light, very delicate yes. pinot noir. Yeah. Yes. And how many years can you age this? Which one? This one? This one? Yeah. Uh, 2017. Or you drink it now? I think it's nice now. Yeah. For me, yeah. Yes. Because you still have some freshness, some acidity to it. Mm -hmm. It's a premier cru, so from a very good winemaker. So, but the vintage is not great, great. So all in all, maybe I would stop at five years. Five years. Yeah. I really agree that this is slightly than the yes, previous one. Yes. You see the. But it's not only a matter of village, it's also a matter of vintage. The vintage, since we only have one grape, we cannot, we cannot rebalance our wines by blending. Uh -huh. In other wine regions, you change the blending okay. a little bit and you can rebalance. We don't. No. It's always Pinot Noir, always the same plot, yeah. but then the vintage is different. Okay. So we, even with this, we have very different wines. Okay. I'm trying to find the one you just... Um, Taste it to give you. So the Nuit Saint Georges we had before, the mm -hmm. premier cru is 5950. Mm -hmm. And now this one, if I find it, Morrison should be there, but it's not. Ah, my goodness, 230. Okay. <laughs> this one I think is more expensive, it's sold out. <laughs> yeah, they have very little of it. Um, actually, I think this one is nicer than this one, but I will still make you taste okay. um, because I, it's the 2016 vintage. Uh -huh. it, it, it's not open yet. Uh -huh. um, on a Grand Cru, 2016 um, was a little bit like 2021. This vintage, oh. mm. um, so very complicated with the frost and the bad weather, and mm. um, so this wine is tight. You see, it's it's not open yet, okay. so it needs this one really needs much more time. But wow. I will still give you a drop of it, so you can make your own opinion. Yeah, 20, 2016, uh, we had a production volume going down by 30%, mm. minus 30, so not as bad as mm. this year. And what was left over was very, uh, very concentrated there. So, what do you feel? Oh, the nose is fantastic. Yeah. Mm. So we are more on small berries again, something mm -hmm. even licorice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not too bad. It's opened up a little bit. But I still prefer the Chambre Musique. Um, Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. I think it's no, it's not that expensive. I think it's around 150. Oh, it's mm -hmm. less expensive than this one. Mm -hmm. But this one, you also pay for Mio Camusi, oh. outstanding winemaker. Mm -hmm. So it's that's possible that it's a um, premier cru, but it's more expensive than yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
uh, a very good winemaker can produce a Bourgogne regional mm -hmm. yeah. and sell it 50 euros. Wow. If, if really his wine is exceptional, yeah. mm -hmm. it, it will be, you know, he will de do a more severe pruning. He will um, do a, a special vinification, really using particular techniques and in the end get a wine which might be better than some of the village appellations yeah. you can find. Mm -hmm. And then he can put any price because people will buy it. <laughs> I like the finish more for Sambol Musini. Yes, Sambol Musini was, yeah. in my opinion, almost, it was ready to drink. Yeah. But 230 euros. Oh, no. <laughs> ready to drink but not ready to buy. <laughs> ready to drink but not ready to buy. The That's vintage it. also affects the price or? Not um, so much. Not so much. Not so much because otherwise the winemakers here, the domain would have some vintages where they triple the price and then some vintages where, um, where they take only half of it. Mm -hmm. So really, never mind the vintage, prices go up a little bit every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't say this vintage is not um. so good because they will tell you the more difficult the vintage, mm -hmm. the harder the work for the winemaker oh, yeah. okay. to okay. get a good wine out of it. Mm -hmm. So he won't charge you less. Correct, <laughs> correct. Because you said that 2017 was a better year than 2016, right? Um, 2017 was lighter, mm -hmm. well balanced, mm -hmm. and however, not so long to age. Okay. 216, you can age it much more. If I had the choice, I'd rather put 216 in my wine cellar. Oh, um, yes. Because it's not ready yet, but <laughs> when it will be ready, I think it'll be even nicer than 2017. You just have to be patient. So now we are on the Clos de Vougeot. And the Clos de Vougeot is here, this big wow. red plot. <laughs> okay. uh, it's 50 hectares big. And it was the monks, the Cistercian monks vineyard back to the 12th century. We will mm -hmm. drive next to it when we're going to our lunch in Alouscorton. Um, they lost it at the French Revolution, the monks. Oh, yeah. And now um, you have um, 90 domains on the clue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some, some of them just have a few rows and others have bigger parts. So. As you can imagine, there is not one Clos de Vougeot, but there are almost 100 different ones yeah. because every winemaker mm -hmm. has a different way of, of producing. So Clos de Vougeot, mm -hmm. Grand Cru 2016. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is it just for marketing? Why did the winemaker state Grand, grand, um, grand vin, the Bourgogne. Yeah, 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 again. yeah, yeah. It's just marketing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they write it on all the wines. Grand, grand vin de Bourgogne. Where is it? Yeah, the grand vin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's not part of the regulation, I don't think, mm -hmm. because some winemakers put it on and others don't. But it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's marketing. Hmm. What's that? What's that smell? Come here. Oh, cherries. <laughs> Lovely nose. Mm -hmm. Cherries, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black cherries. Mm -hmm. Ripe cherries. Mm -hmm. I can't put that to that. It's not smell. <laughs> Uh, Raffé, very good winemaker, Gérard Raffé. I think this one is already more smooth. Than the, than the, smooth. Than the other one, yeah. We're both on 2016, yeah. both Grand Cru, but different plots, different winemakers. And this one for me is smoother, already yes. more open. Yes. Look at the label here. Claude de la Roche-Colage, Claude de Bougeau. Oh, a bargain. 145. Oh. Mm. It's this one, 145. Now, I will suggest to you we don't do this one because 2013, well, I can make you try it if you want, mm -hmm. but 2013 you will be um, 
you will be um, disappointed. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a very cool and rainy year. Mm -hmm. So you will finish with something quite acidic. Mm -hmm. If you want to try it, we can try it. This one I know will be very nice. Can I try? <laughs> you want to try? Yeah. Let's try the acidic first. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. Okay, good idea. So we to Clos des Lombre uh, is a monopoly in the village of Maurice Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. So we are in this village here, Maurice Saint Denis, mm -hmm. and it's yeah, it's a monopoly. Uh, it was um, it was bought by the group LVMH. Louis Vuitton oh. mm -hmm. LVMH, in yeah. 2014. The plot, which is um, eight hectares big, uh, roughly uh, they no, not roughly they paid hundred million euros wow. for the vineyard. So this wine is just out of price, I think. Even though it's a see, even though it's a 2013, mm -hmm. the price won't be less. Mm -hmm. uh, the the label, like the Romani Conti, has a number on it, so people won't uh, copy it, mm -hmm. won't uh, you know to do yeah do a copy. And uh, Domaine de l'Ombre. So it's more expensive because it was it is from LVMH. Uh, 2013, it was not LVMH yet. It was okay. still the the family owner. I see. Before it was a family, um, but now from 2014 mm -hmm. onwards, it's um, so the first wine they did was probably 2014 or 15. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it would be Domaine. Le... Oh, Le... they would still call it Domaine de l'Ombre. Ah, okay. It's just the financial owner would be okay, LVMH. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think on this wine you will have earthy flavors, yes. underwoods, mushrooms, Woody, yeah. maybe yeah. leathery, maybe mm -hmm. some leather flavors. So 2013 is certainly a vintage where you don't have fruit flavors anymore, Correct. but we're going to tertiary. That's the first thing you yes. smell. Yeah. Yeah. Woody, leathery, yeah, I agree. No more fruits, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, <coughs> it's not too bad. It's lighter than I thought, but yes. it's quite acidic. Yeah. It, you can still, you see, oh, there, yeah. there is yeah, still acidity and tannins. 2013 was a, we, we don't call it a good year. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was really a rainy and cool year. But mm -hmm. But once again, it would be a wine which would be so nice with food, yes. especially when you have food with which is a little bit heavy with maybe some cheese. some yeah you know, cheese. cheese yes cheese why not but also when you have sorry again meat with fat around mm -hmm. yes. uh, like pork meat or something yeah. and then you have this kind of wine mm -hmm. which is rather light and acidic yes right. so it would nicely balance. No, it's 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 good. I yeah. thought it would be stronger or more acidic than that. It's light, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but do you know how much? Oh, don't <laughs> even think about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three hundred twenty-four. It doesn't appeal to me. Not too it, much. No, I agree. I think it's too much. Yeah. But this is because it's the Clos de Now, I'm saying 2013, they sell it over 300. If you have the same wine in a 2018, it will be roughly the same price. Wow. And you will probably go, wow. Yeah. But because the vintage is different. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And so now we finish yeah. with a great vintage 2015. Mm -hmm. Very nice vintage. Everything was there. A little bit like 2018. Uh, Sun, but also rain in the soil. Um, and yeah, very the, the grapes were perfect. We are on one of the nine Grand Cru of gevrey chambertin mm -hmm. gevrey chambertin is the next village we'll drive through. So we are in Fissa and it's the first village to have Grand Cru. Mm -hmm. okay. Remember how many we got here? Mm -hmm. 20 Four. Yeah. Gevre Chambertin, this village, they have nine. Wow. Okay. <laughs> very rich. Very I always say very happy winemakers. Yeah. You drive through the village, you always see happy faces. <laughs> so um Cham Chambertin is one of the Grand Cru of Gevre Chambertin. Mm -hmm. Domaine Tortochot is extraordinary. 
outstanding and we are on a very good vintage 2015 so I think it's a good thing to finish with this one. Can you tell? No, I can't. So the nose for me, you see, I wouldn't guess a 2015. Mm -hmm. I would rather, I would think of a 2018 or 19. Mm -hmm. Pretty young. The yeah. nose is, yes. is fresh yes. and young. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Very much on, on fruity flavors. Yes. But I think on the palate you will see that the wine has already a few years. The second nose is getting more, it's getting older, more on tertiary flavors. Yeah. We have a little bit of underwoods, not much there. This can be a good perfume as well. <laughs> mm, nice smell. The only what causes the tertiary flavors to come out? Is it the uh, oxidation? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's mm -hmm. the aging, the oxidation, yes. Definitely more complex. Mm. Yes, mm. and still, well, the other wine, Clos de l'Ombre, was actually very nice, I think, for yeah. 2013. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one, I would probably still, if I had a bottle, just one, yeah. mm -hmm. I would still leave it in my wine cellar mm -hmm. once again. Mm -hmm. for it's how many more years complex. Hmm? For how many years would you leave it? Oh, a Grand Cru of 2015, you can still age it at least 10 years, wow. 10, 15 years. And uh, also the Clou de l'Ombre 2013, another 15 years, no mm -hmm. problem. But you will get more and more into tertiary aromas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the fruit flavors will go away. So there is no, um, there is no systematic answer to this. Yeah. It's not you must keep it, it's really up to your taste mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. But these two wines still have a great, great aging potential. Yeah, but this is less acidic, don't you think? No. The one we're tasting now? Yeah. Yes, but it's also less acidic. I think it does have acidity, but it's not outstanding yeah. because yeah. the wine has more complexity. Right. Yes. So yes. you have many other flavors around I agree. I agree. and, and they integrate acidity. the acidity. Mm -hmm. I appreciate this better than the 2013. See, yeah. so oh. it was good to change it. Yes, yes. Yeah. because 20, when I saw 2013, I thought, oh no, you will be disappointed in the end. So, for having tasted all these yeah. great wines. <laughs> I would say money for this one. Not the 2013. Not the, not the 2013. Oh. I think this one, on top of it, Jean Bertin, but it's Tortochou, so that's another star winemaker. A good wine to finish the wine tasting. Yes, and <laughs> yeah, we'll be yeah. right off yes. for your tasting lunch, so you will have some more good <laughs> wines to go. Yeah. Ah, Jean Jean Bertin, Tortochou. Uh, 155, yeah, much more reasonable. Claude Lambre, once again, uh, the 2013 wine is they have a very small production um it's popular all over the world yeah. very high demand mm -hmm. so of course prices i mean they could they, they could sell it for 500 or yeah. more okay. euros. Yeah. Mm. i hope you enjoyed this oh, quite yes. exceptional tasting yes.